Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. We are doing Classified A for Cobra Convergence 6. We are looking at a G.I. Joe Classified Series 6 inch action figure. This time we are looking at Storm Shadow. This figure was sent to me by Hasbro. I did not purchase this figure, but I am happy to review it for Cobra Convergence. Let's start by looking at the packaging. We have the window pane that shows the figure and the accessories. We have the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo. This is Storm Shadow. We have some box art here and I do like this style of art for Storm Shadow. I think it looks really good. We've got a couple different poses and some ninja weapons. This is number 35 in the series and on the back we have some generic poster style art. A little bit updated from the artwork we've seen on some of the other boxes. On this side of the box we have these symbols which represent his specialties. This one means he has lost so much weight he is skeletal. This is an air freshener. This is a fancy donut, and this is a broken compass. Storm Shadow has had several iterations since he first joined the line in 1984. He started out working for Cobra, and then he joined G.I. Joe. This Storm Shadow is still definitely a Cobra agent. Let's open the box and take out the figure and take a closer look at classified Storm Shadow. Here is Storm Shadow out of the box with most of his accessories attached. We will talk about that hood in a minute. This design for Storm Shadow is inspired by Storm Shadow version 1 from 1984. This is Storm Shadow's most iconic and remembered look. We have been waiting for a version 1 inspired classified Storm Shadow for some time, so it's nice to finally have this. Let's look at Storm Shadow's accessories. These accessories are inspired by the ones that came with version 1. He has a compound bow, and this looks a lot more like the accessory that came with Storm Shadow version 2. It will fit in the figure's hand you can remove it. In addition to putting the bow in the hand, you can also peg it on the backpack, and that is similar to how the bow was pegged on the backpack on the version 1 Storm Shadow. Let's take a look at that backpack. The backpack is inspired, again, by the version 1 backpack, but with a lot more detail and with that Arashikage hexagram in red. One feature the classified backpack is missing that was on the version 1 backpack is the version 1 backpack stored nunchucks. The backpack has some molded in arrows and one removable arrow for use with the bow. This is very tiny, so be very careful with it. It could easily be lost. The backpack stores two swords, one short sword and one long sword. The swords have silver blades with black handles and sculpted snake heads, I guess to denote his devotion to Cobra. The handles on the swords appear to be the same. The only difference is the length. The swords will fit in the hands and he looks pretty great holding both of those swords. You can remove the backpack. It has a peg on the back that goes through a hole in the sash and into the back of the figure. There are a couple other accessory pieces. There is this black sash that goes across the chest, similar to the one on the version 1 figure, but this is a separate piece that's not just painted on like on version 1. It has a silver buckle and a couple of silver throwing stars, and of course it has the hole in the back where you can peg on the backpack. He has this belt piece that also has the lower part of his tunic, and the belt knot pegs onto that. That can be removed, and it's actually a separate piece in the packaging, so you're supposed to peg that on. Uh, so that does make for a nice belt, but this piece is a little loose. I'd like that to be a little tighter and not move around quite so freely. There's a hood on this costume. You have the hood in two positions. This piece is the hood pulled back. This other accessory is the hood pulled over the figure's head. And to switch them out, you actually have to pull the head off. It always makes me nervous when I pop these heads off. I'm afraid I'm going to break this neck post, but you can remove this hood piece. Uh, and then I think you have to kind of place the head in the other hood and then press the head back on the figure till it snaps on. Now we have Storm Shadow with the hood pulled up, and this is reminiscent of the version 2 figure from 1988. My preference is for no hood on the figure, and it's nice that you have that option. I think this looks the most like that version 1 Storm Shadow. Let's look at the articulation for classified Storm Shadow. He has mostly the usual classified articulation, which is generally pretty good. He has a ball-jointed head and a swivel neck. He has butterfly shoulders 
shoulders. He can lift his arm up at the shoulder, and he can swivel at the bicep. He has double jointed elbows. He has swivels at the wrist, and if he has any wrist hinges, they don't hinge very much. He has a hinge at the rib cage for an ab crunch. He has a swivel at the waist. He has a leg split that works pretty well. You got to pop his legs back in their sockets when you move them back. His legs move forward at the hip and back a little bit. He has a cut at the thigh for a twist. He has double jointed knees. He has a twist at the boot cut and he has hinged and rocker ankles. Let's look at the overall design of Storm Shadow and this figure really is inspired by that version 1 figure. It basically is the version 1 figure with some updates. He has a sleeveless tunic and this is how he appeared in the comic book series. The uniform is almost entirely white. On his head he has a white balaclava mask with some fierce looking eyes. He has a white sleeveless tunic with a red cobra emblem on the chest. It's pretty plain on the back, but it doesn't really need a lot of detail on the back. He has bare upper arms and a muscular build. He has white forearm wrapping and armor and gloves. On his arrow hand, his thumb and first two fingers are covered. The other two fingers are exposed. You would see the Arashikage tattoo on his forearm, but like with the version 1 figure, that forearm is covered by his uniform. That belt piece adds the black belt that was painted on the version 1 figure. It's more of a utility belt on this version. The legs are pretty plain and white, but that is in keeping with the overall aesthetic of the 1984 figure. The leg wrappings around the lower legs are in a light gray color with a white paint wash, and that really brings out the texture texture. That's a great way to add some additional detail to what could otherwise be a very plain design. We finish up with some white shoes with some black soles. Uh, this is kind of a plain design. It's almost entirely white, but for Storm Shadow, you really don't want too much. You want it to be simple and elegant, which this is. We have had other Storm Shadows in the Classified series. Uh, Storm Shadows, or is it Storm's Shadow? Storm Shaddai. What's the plural on that? We got this. This is the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow, which is based on the Ninja Force Storm Shadow from 1992. And I do like this design. It has some deeper blacks and some pops of gold. This is a nice updated Storm Shadow figure. A little odd that we got this one before the one based on version 1. We also got this Storm Shadow from the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie, and this figure is a good representation of how the character looked in that movie but standing next to these other storm shadows he looks rather plain and yes this would be my least favorite of these storm shadow figures this new storm shadow is my favorite storm shadow figure so far and how can it not be this is the storm shadow figure i've been waiting for and here it is pretty well executed it is not perfect but it is a really good representation of that iconic storm shadow look that was my review of the new classified series storm shadow i hope you enjoyed it we have Cobra Convergence going on all month in July with a whole calendar of presenters. Check hcc788.com to see who's up next. I will be bringing you vintage and classified Cobra reviews all month, so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. You can find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. If you'd like to support the channel, Patreon is a great way to do it. You can get your name in videos like the names you see scrolling on the screen right now. I'll be back soon with more videos and until then, remember only Cobra is Cobra.